Piers Morgan, 57, has made his feelings about Trishy Sunak's tenure as Britain's Prime Minister very clear. The tough-talking broadcaster dismissed his two previous contenders, Liz Truss and Boris Johnson, for failing to act like grown-ups. Whatever your politics, I find it reassuring to finally have an intelligent, articulate, conscientious grown-up like at Rishi Sunak running the country, after buffoon Boris and Liz less popular than a lettuce truss, he exclaimed to his eight. Four million followers. Rishi recently met with European Union leader Ursula von der Leyen and secured a deal with the EU over post-Brexit trading arrangements for Northern Ireland. Earlier this month, Beers interviewed him on Talk TV, where he quizzed him about his views on everything from the NHS crisis and nursing strikes to Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle. It seems as though the PM, who took part in the interview on his 100th day as Prime Minister, met Piers' standards. During the interview, Rishi expressed his sympathy for NHS nurses, stating that he'd love to give them a massive pay rise, but maintained that he could not change much due to lack of funds. Though he defended that there simply isn't money to fund them further, he stated that he was looking into hospital car parking charges in a bid to lift some of the strain on nurses. On the subject of the royals, Rishi refused to be drawn on his opinion of whether Prince Harry should be invited to King Charles' coronation. It was recently reported that Charles' wife Camilla is ready to drop the consort part of her title to simply become known as Queen, according to Daily Mail. However, Rishi sidestepped the subject, simply praising that the ability to spend time with Charles was one of the great privileges of the job. King Charles does an incredible job. We're lucky to have him, the coronation is going to be superb and we're going to have a great time, he stated. Asked by a chuckling Piers whether he would object to being seated next to Harry and Meghan if they decided to come, he shot back, what I'm focused on is making sure we have a great time as a country. He added he was confident that could happen, although Rishi has some competition among loyalists who are still devoted to Boris after his reign of over three years. Replying to Piers' tweet on Tuesday, at m.v. One underscore supremacy challenged that the so-called buffoon Boris was a great leader and visionary. He added, his intelligence, determination and sheer driving force would have transformed the United Kingdom into the greatest nation on earth. Ousting him was not only a loss to the nation, but a great loss to mankind. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky despite his term in Parliament having ended. I think all of our leaders have a way of continuing to contribute to public life and that's a good thing, he stated. Rishi added, it's great that we've got former Prime Ministers. They've got experience that they want to share. Meanwhile, even those who were not fans of Boris still linked Rishi to him, with Atele McKeveney quipping, he was in Johnson's government. He lied, he was fined, yes, so reassuring. The Prime Minister was fined in January for not wearing a seatbelt in the back of a moving car. However, at Baz 259 echoed Piers' confidence in Rishi, writing, Spot on. This is what serious leadership brings to the country. Absolute success and I am pretty sure, the, economy will be on track, 